Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check in on Lion Ethiopian Airlines. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. So for us to make a check in into the Ethiopian Airlines app, we first need to download the app itself. In this case, once you've downloaded the app in the main menu, what we need to do is we just need to click on the check in option that you see on your screen. Now, once you click on it, it should redirect you to another page, which in this case, you should be able to see a section that says check in. Now, in this case, you need to provide some information about your account and your flight. In this case, you should be able to see at any flight section, go ahead and click on it. And you now need to either choose their reference number or a ticket number for you to provide your details. In this case, if you choose reference number, you need to provide your booking number. But if you choose ticket, you need to provide your ticket number. Now, once you provide the details, just click on continue. Then the next page, it's going to ask you the passengers that you want to check in. In this case, go ahead and select all the passengers that you want to check in. And from then on, click on continue. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we need to uh, basically agree to a few things here. So in this case, you need to confirm that you don't carry any hazardous materials and uh, you have two options. So you have the option to choose your seating and extra services if you want to get those in your uh, flight. Now, if you want to skip uh, picking your seat or your extra services, just click on skip. But for now, let's go ahead and click on seat and extra services. Now on the next page, you need to select your seat. So if you want to select your seat, go ahead and click on select seat. Now if you want to add services, just click on add services. Now once you've done both, go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, we need to provide our passport information. So this is a confirmation about your details. So that includes your date of birth, your document number, document uh, issuing country, expiry date, and nationality. In this case, so go ahead and click on continue once the details are provided. Now from here, you should be able to see your boarding pass. Now in this case, you should be able to save this to your gallery because you need to present this later on when boarding the plane or the aircraft itself. Now in this case, you could also email this to yourself if you want to and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.